All right, like I said in the previous slide, it's fluid, right? But it's not, um, it's not shifting. So um, if you remember, like, you know, if you look at most, whether you're using Bootstrap or, or another system, uh, responsive sites, what will happen is that once it gets, uh, th these will change scales and things, right? So um, uh, you'll end up with, once you get too thin, right, they'll actually stack. You'll see like, instead of there, sell this is always 50-50. Everything's, or these aren't, but these are 50-50, right? So this is six and this is six and this is four and this is eight. So regardless, it's always that scale. But it might make sense that like, you know, when it gets small enough, maybe um, this becomes half. Right. So it only uses this much or this becomes smaller and then this actually gets to have more. So maybe they flip flop. This becomes eight and then this becomes four. And then uh, with these ones, maybe once it gets this small, they just start stacking. You know what I mean? So like the 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 layout actually changes depending on the content. So what we need to do in order to make that happen is we want to set up a system where right now it's just saying the columns are this. What we want to do is make it so we say, oh. When you're small, you should be this many columns, and when you're large, be this many, and when you're super small, you know, just be the full width, be 12 all together, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make three levels. We're gonna do small, medium, and large, all right? And we're gonna do one other level where when it's beyond small, when it's smaller than small, that they'll just stack. And that's that thing I was talking about before where um, if I get this thin enough, right, these elements should all be stacking. Because otherwise they, they start to get really long and thin and it doesn't look as good. This is actually okay right now, but if this was a more robust site, then it would not be. Okay. So uh, that's what we need to do. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is just set up um, the full width that the, the stacking. So I'm going to set up like columns that they'll be all the way... Um, the, they'll, they'll be full 12 columns. So when it's at its most small, we're going to set up that first. Okay. So, uh, they're all going to be the same, right? So like, if you look at these, you see how like one column's got to be 8%, two columns is 16, 25, 33, right? Well, with this one, they're all 12. So I'm only going to make one rule and then just, you know, have the selectors be all of them. So it's going to be dot col dash one dash s for small and then comma and then it'll be dot col dash two dash s dot col dash three dash s dot col you can see what this is a lot of this is um actually i did dash five it looks like an s uh s okay dash uh four dash s you can see how this kind of is lame. Dot col dash five dash s dot col dash six dash s dot col dash seven dash s dot col dash eight dash s dot col dash nine dash s dot col dash ten dash s dot col dash 11 dash s dot col dash 12 dash s it's pretty awesome now we're just going to go like this and then like i said before it's just 100 oops sorry not 100 it's width width 100 percent like that oops there gave me the thing for free and then we'll just go like this and make it easier. So all we're going to say is that when um, it's default, basically, the smallest size is going to be 100%. It just means that uh, all of the classes, all of the classes will become 100% um, at that scale. Okay. Now, the way that we're going to handle the rest of it uh, is this. We're going to use app media. Okay. And we're going to say that when the screen at, at, if it has a minimum of width, meaning like it's from such size and beyond, it should be uh, treated this way. And then if it's at what size and beyond, it'll be treated that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So that will be after this. And we can actually use what we already have right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and use that to make it a little bit easier for myself. Um, but first, we'll write the at media. So we'll do at media at media um, only screen and min 
hyphen width is 600 px. And then it's going to be brackets, boom. And all this says is that when the screen basically is at least 600 pixels, so 600 pixels and above, um, we want it to be this size. So I'm actually just going to take what we have here. I'm just going to copy and cut this. So let's see. Uh, come on. Oof. I like how it doesn't move at all, and then it moves super fast. Come on. All right, that's lame. We'll do it this way. So I'm just going to click here, and I'll hold Shift, and click there, and we're going to Control X to cut it. And we're just going to put it right inside of these brackets. Control V. And let's just um, go ahead and grab all of these, and we're just going to tab them in. Tab. And these didn't get the memo. Tab. And tab. Now, I'm actually going to remove the left part here. Um, we actually do need it, but it'll be easier uh, if we, um, for writing purposes, if we don't do that. So, like that. Um, so, we're going to get rid of all of this. And you'll see what we're doing in a second. So, get rid of all the float lefts. Because um, one of the things that you can do, if you remember in the code, is you can minify it. Um, but you can kind of do, in a sense, not necessarily minifying, but if you if your code is more brief, more succinct, it actually does make it run faster. So if you can, you know, get rid of redundancies um, and make your code take less lines, uh, it's actually beneficial. Not just for reading purposes and to oops and to look all nice and stuff. It actually does operate better as well. Okay. Oops, I missed one here. Get you too. Boop. Okay. So that all looks pretty good. And then what we need to do is we need to make these all smalls. Okay. All right. So, um, doop. so it's going to be col dash one dash s, right? Yeah. Dash s. Okay. And then dash s. Dash s. Dash s. Super good times. Dash s. Hope you're having fun typing so much. I know I am. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Okay. Dash s. Dash s. Dash s. Come on. Dash s. Dash s. Okay. Uh, let me see. That looks good. Okay. Now you might be asking yourself, I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Basically, when it's 600 and above, anything that has the classes .col1s or 3s or whatever, any one of these, it's going to treat them this scale. However, when it's underneath that size, they're all going to have these on them too. It's going to take everything and make them all 100%. So um, even though there's the s's here, this will actually, if it's underneath this, it will make them all 100%. So these only are going to run when the screen is below um, 600. Otherwise, it's going to treat the S's like this. So it has to be above the 600 uh, in order, 600 or above, uh, in order for it to operate. And literally all we're going to do is just copy and paste what we just did. So I'm going to grab this guy. And I just decided 600. You can look at the numbers. You can make whatever you want your positions to be. You can change that. And in the fact, in fact, actually, in the future, you're going to have to. Because what the standard now, the resolution of screens are what they are now. But obviously, in the future, they'll be even more high res. Uh, and they might even have a totally different system where it like, sees real screen size. Like, like it knows your screen is only, you know, two and a half inches by four inches. So it'll automatically up. You know what I mean? So there'll be probably a different system in the future. But for now... Uh, we're basing it off of this many pixels. Um, so this should hopefully work for most um, devices. And I just found these numbers online. I don't remember where they were, but basically uh, it's just, this is what the current standard is. So um, we're gonna do this. This is our small screen. And then we need, uh, I'm just gonna click on shift because it's lame. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this app media and then I'm gonna hold shift and click. And we're gonna control C to copy, enter, control V to paste. Enter, control V to paste. Okay, so um, because we need to do um, a medium 
and a uh, large one, right? So we're gonna do small, medium, large, okay? So for the medium width, I'm gonna say that should be 708, or I'm sorry, 768, 768, okay? And then all of these have to change to M's. All right, so the next one, large, is going to be considered 992, 992, okay? And guess what? These all have to be L's. And, oh, and then the last thing I need to do, um, so now we have these all set up. So basically, um, when the screen is this size, these will become valid. Basically, what's inside these brackets are not valid, they're not used until this becomes a true statement. So it has to be this size, and then if these classes are on anything, it's going to scale them that size, okay? And um, this one's 600, so then it'll read the small ones, okay? So you can put the smalls, the mediums, and the large, and that's what we're going to do on your elements. And depending on the screen size, the different ones will become available. That's the idea, okay? So um, the last thing we need to do is, if you remember, I took out that left on all of them, the float left. We need to apply that to all of the columns. So let me just check something quick. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go after here. And we are going to do this. It's um, square bracket. That is not square bracket. It's just this. Okay, square bracket. Uh, class uh, times equals. And it's going to be col dash. And then there's the quote. And then we're just going to go like this. And then it's going to be float left, like I was talking about before. And then we need to add another thing. Right now, if you look at our columns, in fact, actually, let me see if I can open it up because you might be able to see it now. Okay, see, look at my column here. Notice that it, this all actually looks like one line. I mean, it's not, you see it jump down, but it's all one line. There's no gutter, there's no gap between our columns. We need to add that. So we're just gonna use padding to do it. So I'm just gonna put padding on here. Padding. Um, now we could do padding left and padding right, but if I just do padding, and then I do four numbers, it'll actually give me numbers based on, um, it'll actually give me numbers, uh, I can do four numbers and I'll do one for each side. So it's gonna be um, zero PX, and then I'm gonna do 10 PX, and then I'll do, I know I should be doing um, probably the EMs, but we're just gonna do this, it's fine. And then we'll do 10 PX, okay? So basically this will be, I think the left, no, this is right side. I think it starts at top, right, bottom, and then left. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 10 um, padding on the left and right of all of the classes. And we're also gonna make them all float. So if you see how it says class and then um, this and equals, that means anything that uh, has that. So everything that basically has COL dash. And we wanna make a COL dash because there's a chance that like COL, right? You could have like, maybe there's a college class you have. But if COL dash, you know that the, because the dashes also include that, that means it's going to grab all of these, and these are going to apply to any class in here that have this in it. That's the idea, all right? So it's just a cleaner way. I don't have to write float left on all of them or the padding, and it's, like I said, it makes the, the code actually a little bit cleaner even for uh, the computer itself, okay? Now, um, that looks pretty good. Uh, this is a long slide, so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to save this, so just control S or command S or file save S. Um, again, if you preview it, you're going to notice it's not going to do anything. And it's the same thing as before, is that now that we have these columns, uh, we got rid of the old ones, right? So now there's only S, M, and Ls. So we have to actually incorporate that into uh, our actual classes down here. And we will do that in a moment.